Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons with a gorgeous green bean salad. So simple and uh, lovely. Hello, in this video I'm going to be making a really simple dish. It's a salad using these wonderful fine beans, green beans, whatever you want to call them. Mmm, I love them. Uh, I'm going to use some red onion or shallot and a simple dressing and that's it. And sometimes it's the simple things that are the best. And I think you're going to really like this one. So there they are, green beans. And there's an end that I like, that bit, and that bit I don't like. But I don't like to buy them already topped and tailed because I find they go all dry. So I like to line them up and whip off the bits I don't like and put them in a bowl. There is another way you can do it where you don't take them out of the packet. And if the manufacturers have done it just right, all of the bits you don't like are at one end. So you can just slice it off inside the packet. But then I wouldn't have had those nice photos at the beginning. <laughs> I'm using red onion. Shallot would be also lovely. And, and the recipe will be in the description, but it's really straightforward. You don't really need a recipe for this. It's sort of a list of ingredients and you put how much you want of each together. But really finely chop up that onion, as fine as you can. So even though I diced it nice and fine, I still ran the knife through it for another 30 seconds or so to get it really, really tiny bits. Dressing, like a vinaigrette, a really classic staple of the French um, sauces, I guess. Is it one of the mother sauces? It might be. I don't know. Anyway, Dijon mustard. Season with salt and pepper. There's some white wine vinegar. You could use any type of vinegar or like a lemon if you like, but you know, something acidic. And the general rule of thumb is about three times as much oil to the vinegar. It's not, it doesn't have to measure that exactly, don't worry about it, but just get it all mixed up together, give it a good shake. And I'm, I'm just gonna have a little word with you again, if you don't mind. You know, this is a point where I ask you to help me. Please either thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share it, the bell icon, these are the things that will help this channel to grow and you'll be part of it and I really appreciate it. So thank you so, so much. Thank you. Yes, your interaction is very much appreciated. So how is this dressing? Hmm. Needs a bit of salt. I thought it needed a bit of salt, so I did that. But again, it's all up to your personal taste. So put some salt in some boiling water and blanch your beans. Now how long you do this for is up to you. I like to make sure it's really boiling because I like to keep them as fresh and vibrantly green as possible. A lot of uh, people in the UK undercook their green beans. I like mine to be cooked. I like to be able to actually, you know, bite them without losing a tooth, but I don't like them all mushy. But you take them off at the point you're happy and then drain them and cool them as quickly as possible. So that's how I do it, just in a sieve and then fill cold water in the sink and move, move them around like that until they're cold. You could use ice water if you like, but I like to put ice in a gin and tonic, especially as the summer's lovely and hot. Anyway, let's uh, drain those and get them really, really drained before we do the next bit. Okay, so even if you leave those for a minute or two, so get as much of the water off, in with your onion or shallot, as much as you want, and lashings of this gorgeous vinaigrette. Really coat it, really like get it in there and give it a good old toss around. And I would say do this absolute minimum half hour before you're going to eat it. Preferably an hour, between one and two hours is ideal. But any more than that, you find that it actually starts to degrade and you lose the freshness and vibrancy. So that is the salad done. That really would be the video over. Uh, but I thought, well, it's a bit simple, isn't it? So I'm having a taste. It's very nice. What am I going to have with it, though? So... I decided I got some sea bass and I thought sea bass would be lovely so I'm just going to get the skin off. This isn't a how to prepare sea bass video, I did one of them years ago, God, it's really long. Anyway so just took the skin off and I thought well I really like salt in bocca so why not have sea bass instead of veal or chicken or pork and I thought well I can't think of a reason why not. So if to risk offending the purists out there don't take it personally it's just food. But there's a sea bass fillet with some prosciutto, a sage leaf, and I just sort of weaved a cocktail stick through it to keep the, uh, what am I doing? Keeping the sage leaf attached. And that's really nice. I think that looks really pretty. Yes, very happy with that. So get a nice heavy skillet or frying pan, plenty of olive oil, great big knob of unsalted butter. Just get a bit foamy. Whack some sage leaves in there as well, because that sage then will infuse into the fat and I'm putting them the flesh side down. So I put the prosciutto on the 
the side that had the fish the skin on it so, yeah after a minute two minutes or so got a nice bit of color carefully get them over a bit of extra butter do some basting that basting really helps to transfer the flavor from the sage into the fish and well I'm very pleased it looks lovely so I'm just taking those out to let them rest on a plate while I put the rest of the onion I did into the pan soften those a bit of wine a bit of lemon juice and reduce it until it's kind of like syrupy like a glaze and that's going to make just a really gorgeous little pan sauce to complement this gorgeous sea bass so a little splash of white wine and lunch is about to be served get your knives and forks ready look at it and a nice i'm very very pleased with that and, and actually that does look spectacular don't forget to take that toothpick out because that'll hurt your gob bit of that lovely sauce and you get stuck in we well, you know what to do now anyway and i'm going to hand you over to me for the tasting right then so the green bean salad is the star of the show so for the minute i'm just going to ignore this beautiful bit of sea bass it's gorgeous mm. it's just lovely it's such a nice thing to do with vegetables to turn them into a salad like that and you can have it warm so if you want to just the minute you take them out of the boiling water add the dressing then and eat them straight away it's beautiful because they're warm they really suck up some more of that uh, flavor from the dressing but that is just lovely absolutely mm -mm, yum 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 and okay i let myself have some of this sea bass sort of salt in bucker That is one beautiful lunch to have on a very hot summer's day. And let's make the most of it in the UK, shall we, at the moment? Because that fiery ball of sun is in the sky and we don't know how much how much longer it's going to be here for. So please don't listen to the, uh, the hysterics on the news. Just go out and enjoy some sunshine. Anyway, so thank you ever so much for liking and sharing and commenting and all those things. I know you're doing well now. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next video coming pretty soon. Bye.